Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? <laughs> How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Stud Circle who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, ah, never heard, heard no horse. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, the show is Horses Sig None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin, and our guest today is April May and the June Bugs. We're so thrilled to be here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank We're you. thrilled to have you. And the personnel is April May, obviously on the washboard, and Catfish yes. on the stringed instruments. Yes, indeed. Cigar Bugs guitar, banjo, and mandolin. And Brendan on bass. How do you do? Good to meet you. Nice to have you here. And tell us about that first song. Uh, I Don't Know is um, one of our original songs, and it comes from uh, our CD, Boogie, that just came out about a year or so ago. And that song was written by J.J. Culpepper, who uh, was our bass player for a couple years. And uh, Brendan Squire's new with us right now, so we're happy to have him along. Great song. Thank you. You traveled through the South. 
Yeah, listen. quite a bit. Mm -hmm. We went down, oh gosh, we've been down to Memphis, we've been to Alabama, we've been to Lafayette, New Orleans, and um, we got to do some recording at Sun Studios about a year ago, and then we went back and did some more, and uh, we'll be doing some more this year and hope to release our next album of all uh, recordings that we've done at Sun. So that's something real exciting that we're working on. That sounds great. Yeah. Such a historic uh, place, magical place to be. Mm -hmm. What else would you like to share with us? Well, this next song we'd like to share is something that April wrote. And she recorded this in Clarksdale, Mississippi, as a matter of fact, right? Yeah, I was um, very lucky to be invited to participate in <coughs> Blues Woman International. Uh, they did a project yeah. in Clarksdale, Mississippi called the Hobson Sessions. And they invited blues women from all over the United States, Canada, and Australia. And uh, so we had to write a song for that project, and we recorded it last January down at Hobson. So this is a song that, that I wrote for that project. Great. Let's hear it. All right. <laughs> Some is good, some is real good, some is my Seems so 
Ireland. Could you tell us how you got your name, April May? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so April is my real name. And when I was a little girl, I had a cousin named Junie. And when we would all get together as a family and be running around playing, all my uncles would come up and say, April May, where's June? And they'd all bust out laughing. They thought that was the most hilarious thing. So that's how April May came to be my nickname. And uh, that imprinted on me. And when I was thinking of a band name, it just popped in my head one day. And I was like, that's just too silly. I can't use that. And uh, my neighbor totally disagreed with me. He's Jerry Thompson, who built this cigar box guitar, by the way. And uh, that's how we came to be, April, May, and a June bug. Excellent. <laughs> what else do you have for us? We have another song that April wrote. Oh, yes. This is my train song. I love train songs.
we should let folks know how they can find out more information about you, who, where your recordings are available. And oh, great. Um, well, they can find out more information about us online. We do have a website, and uh, April May and the Junebugs.com, or even April May M A E will get you there. I'll take you to the same place. And uh, there's links there to listen to our music and purchase music and our shows when our shows are coming up and things like that. Even info about uh, our boogie bus outside. Um, I should get a word in about the boogie bus. We have a little um, school bus that we converted to run on used vegetable oil. And I always like to share that with folks so that people know that's an option for diesel vehicles. And uh, we learned about that at um, a festival that Pete Seeger did. There were some folks that brought in cars that were running on diesel and they left running on the vegetable oil from the French fry vendors over at the, you know, where they were eating. And I thought that was the coolest thing. And I was like, one day, one day I'm gonna do that. And uh, it took about five years, but so. Spread the word, grease is the word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, folks. <laughs> Sometimes we smell like French fries, other days we smell like egg rolls, other days tacos. Whatever they were cooking is what it smells yeah. like when it's burning. Yeah. And it makes so. great pomade too. Yes, yes, right. The new grease. Excellent. What else do you have for us? Well, we have this song here called Kiss Me. It's a song that I wrote. A little rockabilly. Hee hee. Hee hee. One. Two, three, four. All right, folks. One thing I'm going to ask you is could somebody scream? <laughs>
in there too. How did you get started in this kind of music? Oh, wow. Well, Dave and I were in a blues group for about 10 years and uh, going down south a lot and listening. Uh, Merle Fest did a lot, went in our heads and really influenced us. A lot of bluegrass, a lot of roots music. Pete Seeger was a really big influence on us when we started to listen to him. And also um, some rock and roll music that we heard when we were traveling through Memphis. There was a group called the Dempseys that used to play on Beale Street and they just about knocked my socks off and all those influences just came together and we wanted to start playing some, some digging deeper into roots music and, and still including blues, but you know, bringing in some other styles too. And we just love it. <laughs> this next one here, one I wrote, it's called I Chop Wood, some you know, good songs from dreams and this is one that just got, came from dream, like an old time type of story and it just went with it. And here it goes. One, two, three. I chop wood all day long to spare and keep it warm. Day to day I try to make it as I play. For some day, far long, when I've stayed too long. Time will tell no more of my story. In the morning when I wake, I thank God for the day. Listen to the silence of the open woods. Hear my axes hard enough, chips of blind eyes luck. Keep the rhythm of the swing, keep the ride. Way back stage, coach, please take me away. Far I don't want no one to have known that I've gone. Only to keep me alive in legend. Like such a chop in the wood of my time here with you. See the age rings cross that time rolling on by. Far I keep the pace with a smile on my face in this maddening race of the morning.
well, my friend. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. We just have time to thank you for being our guest on Horses Sing the Minute and plug your website one more time. Oh, sure. Please visit us, check us out on AprilMayMAE.com and feel free to uh, keep in touch with us. We're also on Facebook and uh, we do a newsletter a couple times a month. If you'd like to sign up to our e-list, you could do that on our website as well. Thank okay. you so much for having us. It's been a pleasure Thank to be you. here with you. Thank you so much. It's been lots of fun. Our pleasure. And we're looking forward to this. Oh, yes. Take it Shall away. Shall I start? <laughs> Ready? One, yeah. two, three, four. Thank you.